Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use wrong surface in taxi takeoff or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Springfield Branson National is a medium-sized multi-use airport located just northwest of Springfield, Missouri. It has its own Class Charlie airspace and pilots inbound to the airport need to ensure a complete and thorough understanding of the rules and requirements for operating in this airspace. The traffic mix is diverse and includes primary trainers up through air carriers and military aircraft. This assortment of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes Springfield Branson National an interesting place to fly. The configuration consists of two intersecting runways labeled 220 and 1432. As a general reminder, full-length parallel taxiways have been a causal factor in some wrong surface landing scenarios. Positive identification of the landing surface will help mitigate this issue. One mitigation strategy might be to load an instrument approach or GPS waypoint aligned with the runway on which you are landing. If you are unsure of how to accomplish this, refer to the operations manual for the equipment in your aircraft. This can help ensure you are on the appropriate final. General Aviation Services and facilities are east of runway 220, while air carrier, cargo, and military facilities are located to the west. Please note that there may be numerous military helicopters operating between the runways north of the field. Hotspot number one is located on the taxiway uniform near the approach end of runway 20. It is unique in the fact that it is transitory. When large cargo aircraft are parked on the cargo ramp adjacent to taxiway uniform, their tail structures can block the tower's view of that area of the airport. When contacting the tower for departure clearance on runway 20, precise location and sequence number information will be greatly appreciated. Springfield Tower, Skylane 41 Romeo, ready at runway 20 at taxiway uniform, number one in sequence. Hotspot number two is at the intersection of taxiways November and Delta, very close to both runways. The issue at this location concerns aircraft taxiing from the northeast ramp areas and cleared runway 32, taxi via November Delta. Pilots have missed the turn onto Delta to find themselves on runway 1432 sooner than expected. The same situation also occurs in reverse. Aircraft at the south end of the airport and cleared runway 20 taxi via Delta November have missed the turn onto November and incurred runway 220. Complete understanding of your taxi clearance, including route turns and hold short instructions before you start to taxi, will help avoid such errors. In addition, continual scanning outside the aircraft for surface markings, above ground signage, and elevated lights while taxiing will make sure pilots avoid this type of mistake. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at SGF will help pilots make better decisions. And along with the ATC tower, keep the operations safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Springfield Branson National Airport. It's always better to know before you go.